are a very long-lived group of people. And um, that's, I think, partly due to healthy living, good diet, exercise, the sort of exercise you were doing when I walked in here. Those are at least as important as the hospital system in keeping us going. Another issue that the government is struggling with is dementia. And I'm sure you all have friends or relatives. I see both my only remaining brother and only remaining sister um, in long-term care facilities now, mm -hmm. largely because of dementia. It's a plague that we do not have medical solutions for. The best we can do is to provide care and comfort uh, for people in advanced dementia until medical science comes to the rescue. I'm sure it will. We have spent about $65 million at UBC to build something called the Brain Health Center. And it's focused on finding solutions to why do people get dementia, why do people get Alzheimer's in the first place. And this is not unique to British Columbia. People all over the world are working on the problem. I'm convinced there will be a solution, but we don't have one tomorrow, that's for sure. So that's another issue the government is struggling with. And there are others mainly because of the sheer numbers of us coming along. People like to live in British Columbia. We have a splendid health system. We offer a lot of inducements for seniors. We, I got on the ferry the other day and I said, I'm a senior, do I pay less? They said, no, you pay nothing. <laughs> Which is kind of nice. I kind of wondered about the economics of that business. <laughs> so, people come here from all over, as you're well aware. They come from other provinces, they come from other countries. And uh, the better we make it, in a sense, the, the bigger the challenge to make sure we can look after everybody uh, equally. So, anyways, that's why I'm here.